Good afternoon from sunny, almost tropical College Park, Maryland, all over Loyola today. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Bruce, wasn't, as you said, wasn't even a game today. Well, it was a game a little bit, but I have to tell you something. Isn't it great to go to an event and win? Right? <laughs> Seriously, up, Maryland. Yes, event. I mean, yes, it is. Basketball has been so tough, we haven't even been doing post games. I mean, but this was just a great win by a great team deep to the end. There was a lot of woofing going on in the Royal websites. That this was a day for an upset, and I thought it'd be a close game. I never thought we'd lose, but I thought it would be a close game. But Maryland just came out with guns a blazing, and it, it just was. Uh, look at the scoring. I mean, Groot had. Uh, Logan Wisnowski's had six points in the first half, nothing in his second. And, and boy, was he efficient. He gets the ball two steps. It's a rock at 100 miles an hour, almost unstoppable. You know, they got a couple potential Americans on this team, Loyola, Olmstead, and uh, Eden, and uh, Lindley. Tell, tell everybody what Maryland's defense was doing then. Today. You, Man, you picked it up right away. Oh, Maryland's defense was fast, physical, very much like a hockey defense. They got into Loyola's head. Loyola couldn't catch the ball, couldn't shoot the ball for a bit. Uh, it was overwhelming. And I, yeah, Maycar's fantastic, and Rahel's extremely good. But you mix in the defensive middies. You have Bubba Fairman coming in to pretty much play safety linebacker, and he's beating the heck out of people. And even when he's not, by that point, he's in your head that he's coming for you. So it makes it really hard to catch the ball. You don't have to have an unsung hero award on this team. It's Bubba Fairman, Fairman because a guy to give himself up and not to play offense and, and to go to short stick midi. It's mm -hmm. incredible. And I want to tell you, the short stick middies are unbelievable. Polisi was back. Jack Higgins. They were. Oh, they... Puglisi is a star. And you want a defensive star year over year. And invariably, he gets a breakaway chance to score. I'm not sure he got one today. Speaking of breakaway chances, the Fogo. Well, he was amazing on faceoffs. Who are we talking about? Lukey, Luke Weirman. He was, you know, and it's funny. If you watch the replay, Luke had a faceoff late in the half where he was about nine seconds left. He picked it up, ran down the field, and he stopped, or was stopped, then fired the ball, went for a goal, his second goal, player of the game. Oy, if he had done that against Virginia last year, Wayne, <laughs> I don't want to think about it, but Luke Weirman was just great. What did he would do? I think season? he was 15, I think he had 15 faceoff wins. Yeah, it's hard to tell. because 22? You know, Tillman rested the entire team. But Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Hiring the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Martha Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. You know, you saw a look at the team uh, on attack at the end of the game. You had Daniel Kelly, you had Danny Maltz, and Eric Maliver. And that could wind up being the attack next mm -hmm. year. You know, we're losing a lot of guys, but this team, as always, is in good hands. They and are. We got to talk about Keegan Kahn. I mean, he Number was a, 19. a set up machine today. He, had four, he dominates the ball and finds the open man. One goal, four assists, and the scoring just went right down to two. Uh, on everybody on the team was now because three. John Donville, number three. Number three got three goals. Eric Maliver, three. Weirman, two. DeMaio, two. Owen Murphy, two. Keegan Kahn, one. Kyle Long, one. Jack Kors. Jack Brennan and Daniel Motz. That's a lot of guys scoring. A lot of guys. Every one of those guys I just named 
could yeah. be a first team attackman for almost every team in the nation. Well, that almost gives you three full lines of right. attack. And you said that. But you bring in who, number 55 comes in. Owen the Murphy, game. the kid from Hopkins. And he just comes in and boom, boom, boom. He scores. Who, who is this? You're expecting when you bring in the 10th guy, the 15th guy, that it's going to back off, but not today. I think Owen Murphy uh, had two goals and three shots. That makes him six for mm. seven. And there was no batting average for that. No. We have a picture here of you with Logan McNaney. Maryland, I think, I don't have all the stats from you. You have the sheet there. Seemed to stop Loyola in the second half for about 20-some-odd minutes in a row. Had shut them out for 20 minutes. Logan McNaney wasn't overly tested, but when he was, he certainly came through. Well, he made one play that I got to get to Mason because it was incredible. It was a face-on shot. He literally made the save. And in the same motion, through a perfect clearing pass, hit somebody on the run who happened to drop it. But even he said, you just can't do it better than that. He has turned, you know, he might not be the number one stopper of shots, but he is the best clearer in the country. And another reason for transition. And, you know, in the second half, Loyola Dispatch gave up on the faceoffs because they were getting beat so bad and then beat in transmission, yeah. a transition. Yeah. And... Uh, it was just Maryland State. Charlie Toomey was said, you know, I, 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 I told him I was so happy that Maryland Loyal is back on. We play at Loyal next year. I said, Charlie, I hope we play you later in the season. Yeah. It's a, said, this is a tough first game, Bruce. Yeah, very tough. And uh, okay. he'll rethink that next right. year. So Maryland rocks and rolls, wins it 20 to 8. Let me give you a few other scores real quick. Syracuse at halftime, 18 to 2 over Holy Cross. We go to Syracuse next week. Well, I'll be there. Can't wait. High noon next Sunday. Dave Pentamrala, Gary Gate. It's going to be an incredible game. And this that game will not be a, walk, a walkover like the day was. And believe me, I never thought the day would be what it was. 20 to 8 against a, a team that some picked by a lot of people would be in the Final Four. And they, they still might be. This is early. Yeah, this is one game. It's still one might. game. And well, you know, we have to get and cover the press conference. That's Bruce Posner, a Maryland legend in lacrosse. <laughs> I'm Far Wayne Viner, that. just along for the ride. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. We will either do this live in Syracuse. Yes, I might start driving. It's you got me jacked up now. Or we will do this remotely after Maryland Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. Good afternoon from College Park.